Thanks to AnyCubic for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this is the latest resin 3D printer from AnyCubic, and it is called the AnyCubic P1. Now, they just got finished showing off this printer over at Formnext 2025, and not too long after that, this puppy showed up on my doorstep. So this video, it's not going to be a review of this printer because I only had it for a handful of days, but I'm going to show you what it's like to unbox it and what the initial setup process is like as well as go over some details about this printer that you may or may not be aware of now if you ever find yourself interested in picking up this printer they are currently taking deposits for it and this is how it works so i'll just leave a link in the description where you can go to any cubics website now the msrp on this printer is going to be 799 dollars but since this is the early days, there is going to be a massive $350 discount given to people who support this printer early on. So what you have to do is go to their website and put down a $10 deposit until mid-December because that's when it ends. And then this printer is going to launch on Kickstarter. And at that point, anyone who has reserved their spot by paying the $10 deposit will be able to use the super early bird tier in Kickstarter to secure that lower price, which is gonna be $449. And they're gonna expect to ship this at around February of 2026. So if you find yourself interested in this printer, that's what you have to do right now to get it at the very best price. Now, when I first saw this printer in photos and when I saw it in videos at Formnex, I thought that it was going to be bigger than what it is, but it's actually a very comfortable size, but it's not a small printer by any means. It's not as small as say the Photon Mono 2, for example. This is really more of a medium sized printer. It has a 10.1 inch 14K display with a build volume of 223 by 126 by 230 millimeters. And then as far as the weight goes, it's about 30 pounds, which is around like 13.5 kilograms. So you shouldn't have any problems at all lifting this out of the box by the thick plastic and putting it onto your table. And just that whole experience of taking out of the box was just really easy to do. Just remove some materials to make removing the printer itself a little bit easier. And then you're off to the races. You get to take off all of that nice, satisfying, sticky plastic plug it in and the printer is going to tell you everything that you need to do to get it set up and they've made it extremely easy this printer is able to detect whether or not you have the build plate attached for example and it'll tell you that on the screen and the setup and calibration process it handles it all by itself. So you'll be able to get up and running in no time with this printer. There is nothing that you have to unscrew. There is nothing that you need to attach to it. It's just all ready to go right out of the box. And speaking of right out of the box, here are some of the accessories that comes with this printer. Now they give you everything that you need in order to get started, but here it is in box form. You're going to get yourself a USB stick and on this USB stick includes the user guide, the manual for this printer. It's also going to have a nice little test file on there as well. And then you can also use this to transfer your own sliced files if you want, as well as firmware updates so that you can do that manually if that's something that you want to do. Or you could just send files wirelessly from the slicer, the AnyCubic Workshop slicer to the printer that's another option to do as well you're also going to get this little plastic scraper as well as some allen keys inside of this bag you've got your metal scraper for getting your resin prints off of the tray and then they also throw in a pair of gloves and a paper funnel so when you funnel your resin back into the bottle you'll make sure that you don't get any potential little cure bits back into that bottle so just a little goodie box right here everything that you need to get started with this printer now, looking at this printer, you see that it is very clean looking, and it's because they're trying to go for a more professional 
industrial-like presence with this machine. And just feeling it and moving it around, it does feel like it's built very well. It's got a nice, flat, stainless steel build plate on top, but there's also going to be a perforated build plate that you can purchase optionally. And then the thing that really made this printer stand out is the split build plate and split that function. Now, those accessories are optional for this printer. They do not come with it. And when I do my full video where I go more in depth with this printer, which is going to be sometime in mid-December, that's when you're going to be able to see those in action. Because right now I don't have those. They are on their way. But you can use this printer in that split fashion if you want to have one material or one resin color on the left and then a different color or different material on the right. And then using the slicer, you're able to tell the slicer to give different parameters to each side of the vat and that could be useful if you are printing with some more expensive more industrial like resins that cost more money and you don't want to potentially spill more or waste more so you have just a smaller build volume to work with but that also means that you'll have lesser materials that you need to use and speaking of industrial this printer does support industrial resins up to 8,000 centipoise which basically is like highly viscous thick resins this printer will be able to support those so if that's something you're interested in for like dentistry or other more serious applications this could be an option for you it also has this industrial grade ball screw system for handling your upwards and downwards motion and they've also done something very interesting with the release film now by default it comes with the infep release film on the bottom of the vat but then they also have this wavy release film as well and that's supposed to reduce pill forces by up to 60 percent so that's something that you can get alongside the split vat and alongside the split build plate if you really want to get all the accessories together and these days with resin 3d printers i think that having some way to monitor the prints is very very important that's why i was happy to see that this printer also includes a camera built in it's near the back left corner and that camera will let you monitor your prints you can do it from the anycubic photon workshop slicer there's also a mobile app that you'll be able to look at that from it will do time lapses as well but then there's some ai features that'll help with your prints as far as detecting debris inside of the vat or detecting failures, things like that. And you can go into the options on the touch screen and you're able to enable or disable those features before you start your prints. And it also includes a heated vat as well. And when the printing process is going, it's going to dynamically adjust the lift speeds and the lift heights. So basically that means that as you're looking at it, it may not always have the same motion and the same speed after every layer is going to be able to see what the environment is like that is printing in and the viscosity of the resin and if it thinks that it can lift higher and lift faster, which is going to result in faster printing speeds, is going to do that. And if it feels like it needs to do things a little bit slower, it's going to do that as well. Now, a couple other things about this printer physically that I like is the power button is on the side of the printer. In fact, it's on the side of the touchscreen. And that is just really convenient for me because normally power switches will be located on the back of these printers and sometimes that can be a bit of a hassle and especially depending on how you choose to set yours up but it's great to have it on the side and I haven't quite gotten used to it yet because I find myself kind of going around the back to turn it off and I have to remind myself I don't have to do that the button is right there on the side but if you do want to move over to the back you are going to see that there is an exhaust port back there so you can connect the hose to it so you can push those resin fumes away from your work area into the outside so if having some cleaner air to breathe is something that you're very passionate about and who wouldn't be this is an easy way for you to do that as well and this printer isn't loud either i'm happy to say that as well throughout the printing process it is 
really well pleasant to be around because you don't have to worry about the fan blowing you out of the room and that is a good thing so it's nice it's relatively light for what it is the design looks really good and the user interface that they have set up so far it's easy enough for me to understand um, so there's no huge issues so far with that either now, I've only printed a handful of things with this printer so far, so, you know, I can't really say anything definitive about that. But the things that I have printed out have come out just fine. I haven't had any problems with any of the prints. I haven't had any failures just yet. And you can take a look at some of them right now. But in the full video that goes more in depth about this printer, I am going to be using different resins. I'm going to be using the split vat feature and just get in general more hands on with everything that this printer can do so that you can have a more well rounded understanding of its capabilities and what the results are. So be sure to tune in to that near the middle of December. If you are interested, you can go ahead and subscribe so you can get that notification for when that video is released. So that is the AnyCubic Photon P1 for now. And if you want to get any more information about that, just check out the links in the description, give you more details about the specifications and numbers and everything else that you need to know ahead of this launch. So thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.